We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this Brother MFC L2700 printer. And we're going to show you how to replace your toner cartridge. So if you've been getting a replaced toner cartridge or toner cartridge low warning, we're going to show you how to get that taken care of. It's a very simple process. First thing we want to do is we're going to want to lower this front cover here. So on the front, on each side, there's a little finger notch. We're going to use those little finger notches to pull this open. So once you have this front cover open, you'll be able to access your drum and toner inside the printer. So you're going to grab this handle that's right here in the middle, grab it as close to the middle as you can, and you're going to take it and you're just going to pull straight out of the printer. And again, that's going to be both our drum and our toner. So now that we have both of these pulled out, we need to separate our toner from our drum. So there's this little green button here on the side. You're going to push down on that little green button and that will let you remove your toner from your drum. So once you have your new toner unpackaged and ready to use, you're going to take it and we're going to want to install our new toner into our drum. So you're going to want to start up at an angle, set the bottom or the front of the, the toner in first, push down on the back of it until you feel it click all the way down into place. It should sit in there nice and flush. If you feel like it's angled anywhere, just take it out and try it again. Make sure it's nice and even after you get it installed. So the next thing you want to do is there's this little green tab at the very top of the drum. You want to grab that tab and anytime you replace the toner you want to slide this all the way across the drum two or three times. The most important part being that when you're done you want to make sure this is docked all the way back off to the side. You'll know where that's at because there'll be two little arrows pointing at each other. But otherwise if you leave this anywhere else what's going to happen is wherever this is sitting you're going to end up getting a really bad print defect wherever that's at. So very very important. Make sure this is pushed all the way off to the side where those two little arrows are pointing at each other. So once you've done that, now we can install our drum and our toner back into the printer. So again, holding it kind of by the handle here, slide it straight in, firmly press it back into the printer. Once you do that, go ahead and close the front cover. It'll give the printer a minute to initialize and prepare that toner cartridge for use. And once the screen comes back to its normal ready state, then you'll be good to go and back up and printing. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help answer those for you. Also, if there's any way we can help supply with any of your printer or office supply needs, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help supply this for you as well. We hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.